So I have a question on my new patient intake forms, and it goes like this. My sex life is A, hot, 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 B, a way I still feel pleasure and connect, C, stressful and associated with failure or heartache, D, a means to an end, on demand as needed, and E, not even a means to an end, bring on the science. Now, if you're up for it, pause this video and share your answer in the comments below. Given that I primarily work in infertility, it's probably not a big shocker that answers C, D, and E are the most common answers by far. Trying to get pregnant, especially if it's starting to take more than the average amount of time, can make sex feel pretty dang stressful. And it's not just my patients with ovaries that feel this way. Research tells us that four out of 10 people with a penis are gonna have some level of erectile dysfunction after just six months of on-demand baby-making sex. Now, I see two main problems at hand here. First, losing an important source of pleasure, of intimacy and connection, both with your own body and with your partner, is a big holistic deal. Thankfully, there are lots of great articles and ideas on how to work on this, including on the Baby You Want blog that I'll link to in the description and even more in my full 90-day program. It is definitely important to talk about and work on maintaining these important things, and you should. The second issue around on-demand, timed, stressful sex is one that doesn't get nearly as much attention. And maybe that's because it involves some shame for some people. The second issue is what if you just don't want to have this kind of on-demand penis and vagina sex and ejaculation? Now, maybe it's because infertility emotions are starting to feel intolerable and overwhelming. Maybe it's because of past sexual trauma. Maybe it's because it causes fights with your partner. And maybe it's just because you're working opposite schedules and you're too dang tired to do it. Whatever your reason, it's legit. And the general fertility messaging is gonna be, yeah, I know it's no fun, but if you want a baby and you're not ready to jump into IUI or IVF at a clinic, you just gotta suck it up and keep doing it, which is hurtful and just not correct. There are two solid options besides the three options that people think about for getting pregnant, which again are penis in vagina sex or doing IUI or IVF at a doctor's office. And even if you like having sex some of the time, I think that everyone should consider these two other options at least some of the time and mix it up. They are home ICI, that's basically fancy for, pardon the phrase, but turkey baster style, and home cervical capping, which is, well, think of it as putting a little cup of sperm into your vagina and snuggling it next to the cervix. Now these options are totally doable without having to work with a doctor's office and you should think about adding them if sex is stressing you and or your partner out. By the way, I've also got an amazing PDF called the Trying to Conceive Timing Guide and it's gonna walk you through how to get your actual timing right and various considerations for timing. Go sign up for that after this video. It's free, it's gonna help you hone in and feel way more informed and less stressed too. If you opt for adding home ICI or cervical capping, I've got a couple of formal fertility products listed in that guide, but you could also consider buying cheaper supplies online, which can save you some serious money and even more stress. Usually a five milliliter syringe like this is a good size for fresh sperm. I got a hundred pack of these syringes for 14 bucks. And for collecting the sperm, you can use a spermicide free condom, or you can buy some sterile collection cups for around a buck a piece online too. For cervical capping on the cheap, you can use disposable menstrual cups like these. Now I will admit, it can be a little bit nerve wracking to get a cup with sperm into the body. So you might wanna do a few practice test runs and try it without sperm inside first and see how it goes and decide if you wanna go this route or not. If you want a substitute product for the sperm, squirt a little lube into the cup and then see how much you spill and how it goes and what the best method is for you. Just make sure that whatever you're using is clean and that your process doesn't involve using non-sperm-friendly lubes or, I'll say it once more, spermicides. 
And I'll say this again too, it's super important to get customized and know what you're doing with your timing because bodies are super variable and that is normal and not a problem. I'll outline a couple of options that you can pick from to safely cover your bases for ovulation in my trying to conceive timing guide. What you're gonna pick is gonna depend on if the sperm you're using is fresh or frozen and whether or not you're comfortable checking your cervix with your finger or not. Both options are doable. I so, so, so hope that this video helps you move away from pressure and disconnect and makes the trying to conceive process feel a little bit more doable. Maybe even like more of a team effort in a way. And remember, the pleasure and connection pieces do still matter too. And when you take out the on-demand ejaculation piece, it might leave a little more space for intimacy and other ways to connect. Like before you do an ICI or capping, take a shower together, cuddle, kiss, heck, give each other a shoulder or a foot rub. The point is you need to stay big picture and also have the best specific reproductive info and options both. Because when you put them together, you're gonna move forward faster while also preserving your quality of life, your mental health, and your relationship too. That's what the full 90 day baby you want program is all about. So if you like info and ideas like this, check it out because I would love to have you in the program. As always, remember I'm out in the world cheering you on. I'm so grateful that you took time to watch this video today. Please subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know how this info feels and if it's helpful and how it goes. Thanks for watching.